God damn it, Brian. <laughs> I'm gonna lock my mouth. Yeah, that's what she I'm said. Not in the <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a kangaroo. I can't just put it in my mouth and digest it. Did you say put it in your mouth and digest it? What the hell's wrong with you? That's how they have kids. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Made Up. Get it, Brian. <laughs> that is perfect. This is why we can't have those things. <laughs> I Let's just roll. Let's just roll. That was great. All right. Just keep rolling, 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 rolling. Okay. I'm in Oh, my laptop's hot, baby. Craig, you hot? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let's do something. All right. Well, uh, Somebody we has the topic. I don't have anything out in front of me. All right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we have okay. Can we just hold on? Where's my phone? I'm gonna read through time. all of all Oops. of our potential topics. Okay, okay. Remind us. This is just some things that I wrote down. Oh my god! You know what Alien we Blair Witch Project. Okay, yeah. What the Mars fuck? 2028, Moon Base 2050, <sighs> random space facts, and then I was supposed to tell you guys about quantum physics. Uh, six nine and Kanye. Uh, why does pop music exist? Um, that's easy. I hate YMCA locker rooms. Oh, Fair enough. That's, that's, a good right one. that's a good one. Suicide Boys is getting their name censored. Okay. Um, um, Brian's Raps versus Six Nines. Challenges for next time. Okay. Okay. I'm really looking forward to Oh, God. I got to look at my raps. Oh, God. <laughs> I think that should be it. Like it should be who can guess more correctly. Than me yeah, yeah, that, that's what it should be. I'm not. I'm not I, gotta, I gotta review this. All right. I think first thing we should start off with here is the Captain Marvel trailer. Pretty underwhelming. First um, thing stuck out. I have no. I have no blockbuster in it. Yeah, that was great. I, I mean, love, I love that. That's the perfect way it? to set it in the '90s. The I mean. first thing that you see in the Captain Marvel trailer is just a pan down, and there's Blockbuster. Oh, she like falls. So she like falls into Blockbuster. That was pretty funny, dude. There is one Blockbuster left in the United States. Mm-hmm. You know really? And it's like, yeah, it's like family run, basically. Huh? It's just like some woman who just keeps it going for whatever reason. No one, no one helps her with it at all. Okay, that's and interesting. I did like a like wait. How does it even work? work? So there's no like corporate office. There's no like, yeah. I was about to say like they don't exist. No, no. And she just runs it. Like they haven't. They just let her go because I guess it works and it's like a small right. town or something. I mean, that makes sense. I guess yeah. But yeah, hands down on Blockbuster flies through the roof. Other than that, nothing really stuck out about this trailer yet. I mean, no. The, I mean, the funniest thing was the, taking down the grandma. Oh, that was man. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, if you don't I'm know already, what a, if you don't know what a scroll is, that's going to be like shocking. <laughs> it's like to learn how what makes a hero. <laughs> right into grandma, like. Yeah, there was, like, there first, was zero um, explanation for that. <laughs> yeah, so many yeah, people like have to know what's going on. I've already seen memes popping up just of her just fucking <laughs> punching sure. the shit out of the grandma. I'm sure. <laughs> um, Colson, fucking I, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'm sure. I'm great sure, to see um, him in a movie again. Samuel L. Jackson is super excited to not have to wear an eye patch for a movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but this is his first Marvel well, movie without an eye patch, and that's got to be a great true. feeling. <laughs> he looks really good, too. I mean, they, the de-aging is, wow. He, mm-hmm. I mean, he's, he looks like a ghost these days. I kind of, I'm like, I'm curious though, as to, like, how much he's going to be in the movie looking like that, you know? Because I, mean, I, I, feel I, like, assume, I assume he's losing the eye. Yeah. I, I feel I like we got to yeah, assume probably. that. Yeah. We saw if the they, pager. 
We saw the pager from Infinity War. Yes, cool. I was excited about that. A uh, shot of Ronan from the back was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, Jude Law might be a bad guy. I don't know who he is. Seems like he might be a bad guy. He's a he's a good bad guy. Is it, yeah, it seems like it. it seems like the scrolls are like the bad guy, but he's the one taking. He's doing the shots. Uh, what yeah. else? Oh, oh, they showed the the mask, the the mohawk mask. That was fucking cool. Oh yeah. Hmm. Like yeah, I, 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 I honestly like, didn't. I honestly didn't know who that was at first. I thought it was just like a warrior. Yeah, I only watched it one time, and I saw that, and I was like, "Oh, that's, that's a mistake." Neat, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> What? It's like that's a mistake. I watched it. I watched. I watched. No, it's. I watched it at work in my cubicle. I was like, I probably shouldn't be watching this at work. So I went to the bathroom and fake pooped and watched it twice. (laughs) Yo, have you heard of the app that counts how long you you poop at work and tries to like it calculates how much you get paid for pooping a year? Oh, that's cool. I have to get that. Honestly, like I'm I'm in the bathroom at least three times. Pooping? Yes. Oh well, my well, god. Well, well, sometimes sometimes I just get bored and like, oh my god, I need a break. So I go to the bathroom and I like put my headphones in and be like, all right, let's get a shit out. I have I have no shame. I just sit in my cubicle on my phone if I'm really bored. Well no, I've I've done that as well because my boss said it's okay and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow because because i'd finished my projects so i was like i have nothing to do fair enough yeah yeah that's like i'll stand out today, baby. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> blair, blair witch alien. i want to know about this blair witch alien thing all right well, so can somebody give me the oh premise of blair witch project please all i know the so. origins in the Ryan, you explain the original. The original was like this viral thing where it's like we're coming out with a documentary on this occurrence that happened. I want to say it happened like, like recent, like it maybe two months before the actual movie came out or something. And like mm. it had been in the news. There was a website made documenting everything leading up to it until the release. And like you see the film and it's all shot. I mean, it's like the first found footage film. Or one of, I don't know if it's the first, yeah. but like the first to use like shaky can, like the character, the actors are holding the cameras the entire time. The director just left them out there and just let them do. They, they vaguely knew the script and story. And they knew like some things they were supposed to say, but most of it was just actually them in the woods looking for this Blair Witch that had been taking people. <laughs> and um, so they're in the woods and stuff and they start freaking out when I think one person like yeah, they they see something and then the, and the tr- spoilers Jesus everywhere. Christ man look it's been out since 1999 <laughs> if you haven't seen it by now like you're probably not going to see it or something I sure. haven't seen Titanic yeah, you're not I'm still don't know the That's ending okay. still don't know the ending you're you you gonna spoil the, that the movie for me I'm gonna be so mad. no it doesn't sink I don't think so oh, okay all right <laughs> no but like the, the, they go crazy at the end and you don't really know if it's real or not. And like at the time when it came out, people thought it was real. It was like I I know, people, people were Blair freaking Witch out. And then Flair <laughs> 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 Witch, Flair Witch. But apparently there's a new one. I remember seeing again, eh, but there's no aliens at all in the original. So the new one, I watched it. I hadn't I didn't know that this was like a um I, I looked it up. Apparently this was like a Almost like a sequel to the first one. Well, isn't it just called Blair Witch? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so, so yeah. Would, if, if, if you had known special. about the original, you would never know that it was part of something. Right, and so I had no clue this was actually like a um, like a sequel to the first one because the main character, one of the main characters in See, this the, one, the way is the, a sequel. I don't. Okay, so they say it. He's the sister of the girl from the first video. Um, Heather. Uh, okay, because I was about to say, there's like not a way you could do a sequel. <laughs> right, and so didn't really know about that, you know, that the first one, like the relation or anything at all there. Um, but watched it, and like, honestly, I enjoyed it a good bit, but it's pretty much the same idea of, you know, it's a same family idea, footage. Yeah. Um, of they go, he goes to pretty much look for his sister, even though it's been 22 years. And, okay, gotcha. Um, is like maybe she's still alive yeah. in these woods after 22 years for whatever fucking reason, and so they go out there. It's like a group of 
And six of them? Yeah, six of them. Oh, wow. Okay. And, um, six, geez. I mean, all hell breaks loose because, like, all these, like, symbols and stuff start popping up, and then they find right. the house from the first movie. Yeah. And what oh. got me is, um, in that part, because they, in the, apparently, I looked, I did a little research because, I wanted to see, you know, what exactly like was um like what was up with the ending sort of. And so apparently in the You first, Googled the ending, is what you did. No, I Googled the ending explained. Oh and so um in the first one apparently you never see the Blair Witch. You don't. You have no idea what's there. But at the ending, but of, you can hear you can hear everything, and it's it's really good. It's really scary. It really. So effective. at the ending of the second yeah, one, is it like super um, suspenseful? Is that like what it's been? Like, yeah, yeah. There's there's suspense. maybe there's maybe one jump scare in the whole movie. The ending of the second movie, they're up in the attic, and all of a sudden there's this huge blinding white light outside. Right. Oh. Um, and my first thought was seeing that was like, oh shit, that's like a UFO popping up outside. And then I'm gonna send y'all the image real quick. Of what's in the attic with them? An alien. Wait, Actually, don't damn. fucking send me shit. Too late. I have to sleep at some point today. It's not that bad, but just like you see that, and I thought that that looked a whole lot like an alien. That just looks like Slender Man with a head for a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. so. I mean, the white that, looks, light, that looks like a face in his, uh, his crotchal region. With the white lights and that scary bad boy. I thought it was aliens, and I've, I've seen two explanations, right? One is alien. The second one is that, you know, that's still the, the witch, because they explain in the second movie how when they, um, they didn't burn her for being a witch, but they hung her from a tree, or like tied her to a tree, and made a makeshift uh, rack by tying heavy rocks to her arms and legs so they would get, like, elongated like that. Okay. And mm. uh, so, I don't know. Like, I could see it being either way, but overall, not, not too bad of a movie. I, I like that they kept it suspenseful. I'd have to watch it. I watched Hereditary the other day. Mm, that's a good movie. Right, that's ooh, good I need movie. to see it. I heard that one had a lot of good hype about it. That's, that's a good I'm not going to say anything about it because I didn't know anything going all right. Um, so, so six nine has been in the studio with Kanye. <laughs> Kanye might win twenty eighteen artist of the year. He might have already just in, like with announcements. Kanye's already done really well. Yeah. I mean, Yandi's yeah, he... coming out this month. This month, and then he's coming out with Watch the Throne two as well. Mm-hmm. Also in the studio with Six Nine, just had I love it, which like broke all records for YouTube music videos or something. What? I want to say I saw that. I don't know. What? I want to say like broke. Maybe music. like maybe or, like first. Like day. It, it's like it's like first day. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Like that in a week sense. or something. Well, like, even the summer he had um, he had yeah he had, and then he had those three ghosts. singles. Kids see ghosts. I'm pretty sure he's, he's just working had a lot with of stuff. Some, yeah, and it's he's just moving. Right. Mm-hmm. He, on, did you guys see his Instagram? He was like in a random house, just taking random pictures. What? Yeah, it was just some some broken down house that he like took his family to or something. <laughs> his family, and it was just like a house, and he took a bunch of pictures of it, and then posted oh, a little right. tiny video of him like eating a banana while rapping. It was awesome. <laughs> All right, and then, and then announces Yandi nine nine twenty nine eighteen. Okay. Speaking of new releases, new Brock wow, Hampton like, Friday. Dude, that's mm-hmm. like ten days. No, I know, right? Like, <laughs> dude's wow. moving. All right, what's next? <laughs> All right, um, you know what? No, I've I'm, seen... just, I, I'm looking through Kanye's Instagram now. Sorry, it's, I it's... just got really distracted by all of the like gymnastic stuff i haven't seen that oh god (laughs) there's like people dressed in i'm assuming it's yeezy season whatever Uh, right but they're doing like weird gymnast (laughs) dancing things and there was a large ass that i got distracted by so i'm sorry (laughs) (laughs) that was completely my fault all right 
Next thing I want to talk about space and what's in the future for space. Welcome back to the nerdiest podcast ever. No, all right. Here, look, I was on, I go to this website all the time called space.com. It's fantastic. All right. Space.com. Jackson yep. doesn't know why anything. Is that when you do oh, www.spacebar.com? It's like there's a space. I'm looking no, at this right. website right but now. 2023, a Japanese billionaire wants to go up to the moon, like around the moon, um, with like a couple artists and everything to kind of like get humanity reinterested in the moon. All right. And you know what who's, one of who's building the fucking rocket? Elon Musk. I was about to, yeah, it's Elon Musk. Right. He's sending him up in the BFR, and you know what the BFR stands for? Big fucking rocket. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> that is no joke what they have called it. The big All right? fucking rocket. I looked up some like spec like the specs for it. It's gonna be three hundred and eighty seven feet tall and it can carry payloads up to hundred metric tons. That's okay, like two how does that how does that come to garbage? <laughs> yes. Yes, that's two of me. No, but how does that compare to other rockets? Yeah, I don't know. I just looked up this one. I'll find some other rockets real quick. Yeah, well, way to go. Nice info. You don't know if that's the bottom of the barrel. All right. Oh, wow. Um, Jackson. Jackson can read the fucking first headline. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that it's one's really super the first thing I clicked on. I was like, okay, here it is. Jeez. No, no, but it's super interesting, though, because like, one of the things I <laughs> wanted to talk about. Neil deGrasse Tyson reminds us why smoking weed in space is a bad idea. Did you guys <laughs> see that video? He no. said, because you could, he was like, yeah, it would be a really bad idea to smoke in space because, you know, you're impaired, so you'd probably mess something up. Like, almost 100% sure you would just mess something up. That was his explanation. Just so there's no, s- no science behind it, just you'll probably mess something up because you're high. Yeah, like he was saying, like you'd probably run into something, like some some sort of like control. Or... You'd probably just run into another planet, probably. And they're... <laughs> yeah, they just accidentally <laughs> trip and fall onto Mars. Like, oh shit, Mercury! I didn't see you there. Burning up. All right, so I found the other specs. Right. Um, let's see, Saturn V's size and payload capacity dwarfed all other previous rockets which had successfully flown at the time. With the Apollo spacecraft on top, it stood 363 feet. What's the payload? What was uh, it, doesn't, the payload? it doesn't list the payload, okay? Don't push the payload. I swear Listen, to God. I, I want to know how many of doing the Overwatch flashbacks now. Um, oh, it said it's capacity, which I don't know the conversion to metric tons. What are you, uh, fucking was, idiot? Look, I'm not a ma- I'm not a math or engineering I'm not a person. Math. I'm, not a math. I'm not a um, math. Come on, mom. I'm not a math. Three hundred and ten thousand pounds. Wow. Jeez. How many metric tons is that? Wait. Yeah. 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 How many metric tons did? Um, the I think that's three. I'm leaving. I'm just kidding. Um. So um, it, it that was, is 140 metric tons. So how many was the SpaceX on? Uh, up to 100. <laughs> huh. Look, interesting. Look, <laughs> things things are different now. We don't need to fill a rocket with I, bananas. Honestly, like I, I'm just gonna start watching porn at this point. We are so boring. <laughs> okay, let's awful. get. Hey, all right. So I listened to Trigger, Gosh. Trigger, Pump. Yeah, trigger, they were good, but the singer trigger, sounds like punk, the dude for Panic at Trigger, Punked, uh, Trigger, Punked by the Figs. Or the F 16s. So the F 16s, and it's trying to be Figs. I could not tell. I can't. Uh, F 16s. I think, yeah, it's F 16s. Because I was looking yeah. at the helmet like the Figs. That's pretty yeah. dope. I mean, what got me to listen to it for the first time was. <laughs> the album cover because it's just a dog sitting there with a mohawk on and that Obviously, was amazing you have to click it exactly I mean, where did you find that it was just on my spotify discover so wow. i don't know listening to it i like i like their i like the production they had um 
the, they don't know how to use treble. It's like it was like the dude's voice was like lost. I couldn't hear him half the time or understand him half the time. But like halfway through the album, it got way better, way better. It was like uh, what's it called? Cadillac. The song Cadillac. Okay, um, brought it I, back I, I, so hard. Like, like they're doing like some auto tune type of stuff. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, not, I I don't think it was like it's not like rap auto tune, but yeah, I think they're using it like as an effect. But I liked mm-hmm. how I liked how it was like acoustic, but also digital type. It, it was like new age acoustic. I guess I would say it. Right. I liked it. It reminded me of Milky Chance a lot, and I'm mm-hmm. a fan of that. Yeah, I was. I definitely like. Uh, and what I like too is how the beginning of it kind of like the beginning of the album started off kind of like slow and indie-ish, and then it kind of picked up from there until you get kind of like more of like a rock feel at the end. Yeah, of it. yeah, definitely, definitely. No, I really like how it did that. You guys uh, no. should listen to. I think it's called Pop or Pops. Yeah, it's called Puck. It's like sort of a similar vibe, but um, they're, it's like more of a punk band. But it's like indie okay. punk. You indie know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, which is like, I, it's pretty similar. Um, I would say the, uh, what is it, the trigger punk is like more poppy, I guess. Okay. But, no, but pop, it's like it's like good. borderline borderline pop. Yeah, I mean it's close. Borderline but... pop, borderline like just straight indie. And then there's one. <laughs> there's another band called who is similar called Swimmers, but it's S W M R S. I've heard of them before. They're good. Yeah, they're really good. And it's like the same thing though. Again and again, like it's. Super similar stuff. I mean, the stuff that comes up on Spotify when, like, you look it up is like alt rock, new noise, garage jams. Like, those are the playlists. <laughs> Yo, do you guys <laughs> remember App State with the garage band? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, was, that was the weirdest thing I think. That I've entire ever night was terrible. Cause like so, I was one of the first bands. To, or I know I was the first band to get there, right? Oh, the second one. guys! We I walk into this. I house, didn't even right? get to go in. I was the last bus. <laughs> we walk in, and that sucks. We we're like, this is the address, so this obviously has to be where it is. So we're asking around in the house, like, hey, is this where the swim party is? Right? Did you see and the two dudes doing whippets in the hallway? I did not see that, but their response <laughs> was fantastic. They go, "No, this is the club Quidditch party." And we just all just turn around and walk out, and wow. we're like, "Mason's gone. We don't know what to do now. Like, he's our driver. Like, we we can't we can't leave now until he gets back." And then eventually, like five minutes later, some dude runs out from the backyard and is like, "So someone said y'all were here for the swim party. That's where I'm back. Quidditch is inside today." And then we just get that out there. They got these TV torches, <laughs> a keg in a corner, and they just got the garage door open, and you've got like. Three guys standing in there. The you got three thing. dudes in there with flannels and ripped jeans screaming at each other. Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> Who has two parties of different whatever? Yeah, no. It, it just, just, sounds <laughs> like he's messing with the so upstate. I'm not surprised at the pitch team. Yeah, no, it was, Dude, uh, it was brought up to go back there this year and um, uh, just immediately we all go, no. like We are not messing with that place again. Dude, honestly, I'm curious if we're going to even be able to go to um, NC State. Yeah. Why? So, Does anybody we? know how they did the hurricane? I mean, when we go, it'll be early November. So, like, they've got two months to get their shit together. Yeah. Well, I mean, if there's mass damage, then who knows? That's what I'm asking. Well, yeah, be I, don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't think about that. I mean, Hopefully it is okay. I mean, they probably would have put something in the um, the like meet group on Facebook um, to say something like we uh, we we're not going to be able to do it, so that way other teams could find their um, find like a different place to go to. 
it's super flooded. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the entire highway is covered. I like it. Oh, Look, that's just God. a perfect swim in. That's perfect. Yeah, here's the thing about swimming in floodwaters is you'll be swimming and you'll be like, oh, wow, did I scratch my leg? And you'll have just torn your calf off on some like siding that's underwater. You know, what I've heard, it makes it even more interesting. If you uh, throw a couple down power lines in there, makes for a real fun time. I think that might kill you. Mm-hmm. Just, I think that might kill you. Maybe, like maybe. Oh, geez. All right, I looked at the alien. <laughs> is is that, not, that yeah does uh, that not look, look more like an alien it looks, than like a it looks like slender man it does look like slender man it looks like uh, slender man but it looks like slender man has like a skin condition yeah. i'm telling you that's a face i deleted it <laughs> <laughs> No, dude, he's definitely pregnant, for sure. And yes, he is pregnant. It's 2018, can't judge now. Mm. Out of nine. (laughs) Out of nine, baby. Woo! All right, so what do you guys think? What do you you guys think about this? I was looking up... um, I was trying to find that uh, sample in King Tulip. Uh, Okay. And... It's like one of their friends. I found it on Genius. Nice. Uh, so it's not Post Malone. Post Malone. Is it wasn't Post Malone. But it kind of sounded like him, though. It did. It did. Yeah. It's got but that, like got that rasp. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, I could definitely see how it wasn't him. But I've also the the dude is like their photographer. So he does like all of the Suicide Boys photography for like. I I don't know if it's. I'm pretty sure he goes on tour with them, but I'm not 100% sure. But I was looking it up, and half of the time, their name would be censored. Why is that? And it would be it would be like Uicide Boys. That's it. Uicide? Yeah, they would like try to not make it say suicide. And I was like, there. I don't think that's ever gonna work with um like with- literally. Where you where are you seeing this? Like, what what's an example of where this was? Yeah, because I typed in suicide boys. Let me see. I might have typed in. All right. <clears throat> now, what I'm interested to hear about is why fuck YMCA public bathrooms. Dude, lives. honestly, gyms in general are the weirdest. You don't wait. You want to? For, uh, yeah, it's yeah. I, I want to hear what story I have experienced. Had. Some weird. Stuff. I walked in, and there's like a it's like a hallway, and then it turns to the locker room. So like, if somebody's walking past, so if like somebody's walking past, they don't just see a bunch of dicks. Right. But here's the thing. You're walking in, you're going down that little hallway, and at the end of the hallway, before you even get into the locker room, it says to ma- like maintain decency, keep a towel on while you're you know, walking around. And as soon as I turn the corner, three penises. Three. And they're oh, all dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the one dude. Oh, my God. Of Tommy <laughs> Triple Dick. <laughs> You know, um, so in high school swimming, we would uh, swim at this really neglected place called the Swim Center. Wow, that sounds, uh, and like it was like the walls were cinder block. I'm pretty sure even the floors were cinder block somehow. Like it was just, it was bad. Okay. Like it got demolished before I even graduated. So it was I just, that's a good thing though. You know, it was definitely good because it was like it was just in bad shape there. But it was a similar thing of like, you know, you have the corridor that splits off, you know, one way goes females, one way goes males, and then you get into like the locker room. Yeah. And um I almost every time we would walk in there to like after school to go, you know, change for practice and everything, there's just all these old ass wrinkly men. They don't give a care in the world. 
and they're just like sitting there, nuts out, just wrinkled asses everywhere, and super uncomfortable because like there's probably like five of them in there, and they all know each other. They're talking to each other, and then they have, fucking dicks that's, out like that's friendship. Like, <laughs> and then, no, but so then I want to get to the point where I don't care, and I can just talk to my friend naked in the locker room in front of some pubes pre pubescent thirteen year olds, and be like, I don't care. This is going to be you one day. That was out, the, kid. like 20 no, no. high schoolers ranging from seventh grade to senior year. We're all just walking. Seventh grade's not high school. All right. If you were real, you'd get naked with them. You'd be part of the crew. Um, no. Probably end up uh, mm-hmm. in uh, behind mm-hmm. bars, maybe, but. <laughs> uh-uh. They would. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, they would. Good God. Still, just, I mean, it clearly makes people uncomfortable. All right. So I've been, I, I have these lyrics that I've written. Um, Ooh. Oh, what? You got a stiffy off? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. You this have some, to also pull up. Some I'm going to pull up six, six nine lyrics. <laughs> this is some cringy <laughs> stuff, guys. This is real cringy. You no. have the advantage that I have not heard. His songs that aren't on the album. Yeah, no, the, oh, the only two, okay, yeah. only two songs I've heard have been "Gummo with Y'all" and then last weekend, uh, Creole there showed me chocolate. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hyped for this. Me or six nine. Plain pasta bumping. Tushy worry about nothing. Stacked up on your pussy is a clock duck and muffin. That's absolutely you. <laughs> <laughs> well, considering like, that you look at your notebook <laughs> instead of your computer screen. I mean... Oh, well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hold on. Let me, let me do this better. Let me do this better. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, can you see my phone? No. <laughs> I got I to gotta hold in position where you can't see it. Okay. Okay. It's also just obvious that it was you. But... <laughs> okay, that's true. <laughs> A lot of these are like... <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what I am? Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are a Creole tomato, my friend. All right, I'm just. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna like wrap them because just turn your camera gonna, off for like two minutes, and then we oh, can't see you. I can do that. Yeah, just go down to the bottom and click uh, turn off camera. Yeah, <gasps> that look way better this way. All right, um, hold up, let me get it started. BB with the robins looking all retarded. BB sagging fly like a dragon. Bitches suck my dick because I'm fly like Aladdin. Now I'm going to read another one. Um, hold on. Slow-mo reflection, sky-high erection. Trying to take her down, no sense of direction. Glass-stained mirror, one-hand steer. Sideways eulogy, ask her for two of each. Ah, uh, wow. <laughs> This is difficult. <laughs> I'm gonna I go. The first go. one is you, and the second one is six nine. That's what I'm going with. Nope, opposite. What? <laughs> opposite. <laughs> the first one was six nine. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So yours was sky high erection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slow mo reflection, sky high erection. Trying to take her down, no sense of direction. Wow, I was really sure that that was. <laughs> All right, yeah. Let's go. Let's go with another one. So a lot of these are really obvious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm surprised you guys didn't get that one. Actually, no. That that was that was that was a decent one. Yeah, that was actually really close. Because a lot of these, a lot of these, I'll reference like random dumb words. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, no. Here we go. Um, 
Well, that's obvious. He says Blicky 10 times. (laughs) 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 All right, here we go. Here we go. These bitches think I'm stupid. I ain't stupid. Dummy boys fall in love with it. He's stupid. All these hoes on my body cut that bullshit. All these hoes, they ain't loyal. Y'all looking stupid. That's one. That's the first one. That's the first one. <laughs> I heard they wanted head. I gave them power. They told me turn it down a bit in the shower. I raise them 21 and hold them because I'll be buying this place in an hour. I think they're both six. Whoa. I think they're both six nine. I say oh, six nine. First one is six nine. Second one is zero. Yeah, Jackson wins. Jackson got oh, it. Oh, Jackson got it. Okay, this six nine lyrics awful. These he says stupid and then ain't stupid. He's stupid. Y'all stupid. <laughs> you know, I was like, I was it's like, too good. No way that you would have <laughs> tried to write rhyme stupid with stupid four times. <laughs> Well, the thing is, a guy with millions of followers did. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy now. Yeah, he's got rainbow hair. <laughs> Brian, you too could have millions of followers. Honestly, I don't know why I'm not in scum gang. Honestly. Uh, I think you have to be in an actual gang for that. Oh, I am. I mean, I'm in, I'm in a cum gang. We don't we don't deal with uh, us. Uh, come again? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Come gang. We have we have a Discord from a uh, Pornhub. It's okay. Okay, nice. You guys just like all decide on the time you're gonna like. Oh meet yeah, up yeah. We and, just um, we decide like, hey man, video. it's like yeah, yeah, I can't get on right now. I'm beating off. It's like oh yeah, me too. It's okay. That's all good. Oh, so, like so, you don't like say like all right, we're gonna watch this video. <laughs> And I'll meet up nah. here and talk about it after yeah. watching it. I, I haven't gotten that. I'm not that far into the uh, ceremonies yet. Ah, uh, okay. okay. The ceremonies? Yeah. All right, here's another. Okay. Galaxy round my dick. Space orbital shit. Next time I flex, my sperm expand in it. <laughs> Baby, I don't... This, that's the first one. Baby, I don't want to fight right now. I really just want to be on top of you right now. Why are you trying to run your mouth right now? I just really want to be on top of you right now. <laughs> okay, the first, the first one is you. The second one is six nine. That was so easy, God. I got. I, I should have looked up six nine lyrics before this because these are awful. <laughs> Dude, it really sucks. It's just like they're so bad. Mm-hmm. It is bad. It's bad. God, I probably wrote this. Oh, this is probably last edited 2015, but I don't think I, I think I was like, I accidentally clicked on something. This is from like seven years ago. Good. Should I read my, uh, my original? Yeah. I don't know why that was a question. I don't think <laughs> I should. <laughs> okay, no, no, don't. If you don't, if- I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you guys later. Here, okay. here, here's, a, here's a song I wrote, though, called uh, uh, called Beans on My Dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm interested. Beans, Beans on, my, on dick. my dick. Beans on my dick. Chick want the lick, so I give him my dick. Beeping on the track. He can't even look back. Playing Pokemon with the super attack. rat a tat tat <laughs> In the point in the background, I'm a flyer dick into the ground. Turn that bitch around, let her pile up the mound. Beans on my dick, beans on my dick. Chick want the lick, so I give him my dick. Dagger, j- jaguar, wagger, kick him side face, Godzilla. <laughs> I got the moves like Jagger. <laughs> Twist and turn on the splitter. Gramps touch it low. Bottom of the flow, rider with a goose, finally getting loose. Hammond talks to shit. I open up my dick. I plug in the hit. The club bouncing to my spit. Beans on my dick. <laughs> um, 
Can we uh, from the mind of a fourteen year old me? Fourteen year old me went in. What? What was your rap name <laughs> that you said in like the first few lines? Uh, my name was B Pain. <laughs> B-A. <laughs> yes. In, in seventh grade, in seventh grade, we had to write a, a rap. We wrote a rap about slavery and oppression. And I was introduced as B Pain and all my friends had other names as well. And I was B Pain. I just kind of stuck with it. Yeah, no, po- poetry is not something I needed. Poetry is fun. I like poetry. Other times I wrote, one, one other time I wrote poetry was in 10th grade. And I wrote, a parody for class called There Will Come Bruce Wayne instead of There Will Come Soft Brains. Wait, what is there's There Will Come Soft Brains? Soft Rains. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what okay. zombie thing is this? <laughs> okay. And I was trying to find it to see if I could like have it to read off, but I think it's on a different flash drive right now. But there was that, and then the other one that I wrote... Jackson original was um, about Bojangles and about how I wake up and want to go to Bojangles in the morning. That's every Saturday. It is every Saturday. I mean, it's (laughs) actually every Sunday. (laughs) Uh, My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. We drove, Nick and I drove to Bojangles. We drove like 20 minutes minutes because the one closest to us just had a line (laughs) out the door. The line because was all these people were getting out from church. Yeah, there was like inside the line was out the door, and then the drive through was out of the parking lot and into the main road. Yeah. Damn. Sir, yeah, can you get your laptop that. off your penis? Thank you. Tripod. Okay, so first of all, be paying. Uh, I'm looking up how to use Traction 7 right now so we can fully produce that song. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I think what we need is we need another yeah. another B Pain original for next week. Oh, see, I read that they they're about um there's there's a lot in this, oh. in this little note. There there are a lot. All I'm not right. gonna share them because I will be put on some type of list. <laughs> <laughs> well you shouldn't have told us that, but okay. <laughs> well, I mean I'm telling you that that's why I'm not reading it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you guys know what they say, but my God, <laughs> I, I'd be in a six nine situation. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> That's too Uh-oh. much. <laughs> like I'd have, I'd have, I'd have green hair and face tats. What's up, Craig? Does Craig talk? No, not other mm. than at the be- other than at the beginning and end. He I don't know Craig's story. Are there AI in Discord that you can talk to? Yeah. No way. There are other bots you can get that uh, they'll either reg- like you can have ones that like play music through- from YouTube or Spotify and stuff. Um, Interesting. I know there's some that post memes, so I know you're not happy about that. Yeah, Nick, I know you're not happy about that. I'm happy about that actually because I like memes. Every, every other weekend, you're like, please, no memes this weekend, fine. I'm not too big on memes. I'm not too, I, I'll say this I'm not too big on meme sharing. I'm not too big on meme sharing. That's like memes are a little thing where I'm in bed or <laughs> laying down and I'm on Reddit. I'm on Reddit. I go to me IRL and I look at some memes and we're like, that's kind of funny. I'm not going to send that to anyone, but that's kind of fun. But don't you want to share memes with your friends? Because no, like, well, the, thing is, is, the thing is, me IRL is like this, it's like lore behind it. And I don't know. I There's just, just, lore just, behind me IRL. <laughs> Elder Scrolls 6, me IRL. I'm telling you. All, all the books <laughs> just have pictures and quotes from me IRL. <laughs> you get like black skin. <laughs> Doing a quest to find the memes for the future. <laughs> <laughs> My quest God. for the death memes. <laughs> I really want to see who's behind Craig's picture, man. There's somebody there listening. It's a bot. It's Craig. 
Yeah, I want to see his actual face. I don't think it works like that. I think it does. That is what do you mean? That is his actual face right there. Mm, I don't think you understand how it works. Well, I you know I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I don't. All I know, we're getting wiped out by him. Yeah, probably. Someday. Someday. Probably. I, it'll, I mean, maybe it'll, we'll have like a matrix situation. Maybe we're just fucking we're gone. I don't I know. We'll be okay. Not that worried. As long as my B Pain mixtape comes out in time, I don't care. You think like, stop the robots? Can that be the can that be the premise of your B Pain mixtape? Robots? Stop the robots. Stop the make robots. It, make it a whole story about the robots. I talk about monkeys a lot. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, you know nothing has changed. Can we nothing talk about that really fast? Because <laughs> you wanted to be an orangutan for Halloween or a gorilla. You also, for some reason, the other day said we were going to look like apes when our beards were like fully, fully. I think, I, I think he has a it's a monkey fetish. I give, do believe it's a fetish. So <laughs> it's it, like it, sexual. All right, then it's a yeah, fixation. Exactly. It's definitely, it's just a like. I like monkeys, man. Monkey not, not to like hit your point home, but I do like bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you ate all my bananas this week. I only ate one. I only ate one. So Everyone else that was high ate them. <laughs> All I know is I got I one this morning to have a banana for breakfast and they're all gone. Well, so I you, like, you put one into my mouth butt first and I bit into it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, re- I remember that now. I remember that now. I that, was your, that was your doing. All right. Speaking of animals, I was thinking about this on my uh, drive to school today. Just how like, advanced sharks are. Oh, God. What? <laughs> Sharks, all right. What did you they like? Get... Just see the Meg? No, no, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, look, I just think about random shit on my way to work. They don't get sick. They don't get cancer. You can look, you can look it up, right? They don't, none of that, right? You realize have... we probably wouldn't get cancer either if we didn't eat like garbage. I've never eaten garbage. Okay. He's well. got a point. I've, I've never eaten out of the trash before. Okay. Well. Well, yeah, I guess they're getting pretty good protein. Well, all right, they also have protein, high protein, low fats, electrical sensor they things. Also they also have bones. They have cartilage. Yes, which I've never heard of anyone getting ear cancer. We gotta cut that. That was no, that's bad. absolutely gonna stay. But uh, <laughs> nope, nope, that's cut. I'm the prime. I'm the chief editor. So, what am I saying? I don't know how to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, but I mean, look, I'm just saying they've been around. I'm gonna look it up. But I'm pretty sure they've been around for like 250 million. Years. Oh yeah, sharks oh. are old as fuck. Four hundred million years. Oh, Four hundred million gosh. years. They uh, they do well on the uh, universe calendar, don't they? Or whatever it was, cosmic calendar. They do we much better than about? we do. Hmm. But the thing right. is, they don't. All right, no, no, all right, all right. Hear me out. Here. Hear me out. They're not really advanced, though. That's I think that's the wrong word. <laughs> Dolphins are the ones that are advanced. Dolphins are Dolphins smart as shit. Of shit. Dolphins are smart as hell. Dolphins rape people. Yeah, that's. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> Title Nine. The thing is, the thing is, the thing is, you better watch yourself, think there, about, buddy. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> think about all the other species that rape people. Marcus. Besides people, what's number one? Yeah, people exactly. No, I'm saying dolphins literally rape other humans. 
Yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay, what other animals do you You got to be of a, a type of intelligence to be able to do that. They masturbate. What other what other species masturbates? Monkeys do. I think a lot actually. Actually, that's probably true. Have you not seen dogs going at it with like a stuffed animal? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're well that that know. alone just like Well, Animal Claim would... doesn't cover this, so I don't know. I need a most extreme countdown, top ten most extreme of like masturbating animals. <laughs> where's the uh, where's the Animal Planet after dark? Come on. <laughs> Animal Planet after dark. Animal Planet after dark. That's when you put on like the ER stuff. Man, that show was that show was crazy. The ER. Yeah, it's like the ER animals, like the bloat flies and the worms. Oh, man. What? Welcome back to the grossest podcast on the internet. Oh, God. You guys think you could win in a fight against a shark? No. The answer is obviously no. Like even if you did everything that like they tell you to do, like punch it in the nose, like punch it in the gill. Yeah, no. I mean, if this shark was trying to kill you and you kill the shark, the shark would kill you. Yeah, sharks. Sharks taking me down. Same thing with like, um, like monkeys and chimps and stuff. No, I just become friends with them. Uh, no, but dude, monkey monkeys. Monkeys will just, I mean, there's story. I mean, people getting their faces ripped off. That happens mm-hmm. a lot. Like, that's, yeah, they, that's they a go, thing. They go for your face, your like fingers and toes, and your nuts. Yep. God, that'd be so scary. Yeah, terrifying. Yeah, they're fucking scary little things. You know, remember that not, story? Those like, are not little. <laughs> that, it was like 10 years ago or something like that, but that, it was like all over the news for a while about the lady that got her face ripped off by the chimp. And they were having like all these interviews and like for the first like month or so she showed up all bandaged up and then she like came out a couple months later and like had her oh, face all God. torn up and everything. Yeah, it was, it was brutal. Yeah. That was really bad, bad yeah. stuff. Really bad stuff. Uh, but not okay, Shark, if if I am in if I can stand if it's if I can stand in four foot water, I might have a chance. Wow. Now I'm thinking as long as you can stand for water, and you can hit it kind of hard enough, like where you're supposed to, I think you got a chance. No, absolutely. It's not going to shark that's the same size as you. Yeah, I'm assuming same size. Yeah, absolutely not. There's no way. I don't know though. What? No. Yeah, no, they like. Not. Well, first of all, they don't like the way humans taste. That's what I'm saying. Okay, how is that proven? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying that that's that's why I prefaced before we even had this debate. The shark has to be trying to kill you. And you right, 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 the right, shark. right, right. There's no like, punching like, it and started. it runs away. Yeah. What? Wasn't she in a shark movie? And oh, I, don't I don't know. I don't think there's any way, man. I even, just so even, much with stronger a, than even with a gun, I feel like I would die. <laughs> oh, no, with a gun, it's over. I'd probably shoot myself on accident. <laughs> I, don't think right? I've ever, I don't think I've ever shot a gun. I've shot yeah. a BB gun, that's no, about I it. Haven't shot, I've shot a BB. Okay, that's, yeah. I shot a gun once, that. it was scary. I remember when I was little, not, I had not this too big on Not too big on about guns. shark stories and everything. And one of them that was in there was uh, about how some guy off the coast of Australia, he was there for a um, spear fishing tournament. And so obviously Australia is not as full of animals that are just trying to fucking kill you all the time. Yeah. And lots of great whites and everything like that. And so because it was, you know, spear fishing, got all the fish blood and all that. And so all of a sudden from like behind him, right on the side, Great, great white chomps down on him and then starts dragging him down for like however long until he like finally like manages to get free somehow 
and it's just like these pictures on the internet of like literally from like shoulder to like about where your belly button would be like if you came straight up down to like his hip god just like a sh- just shark bite on like both like front and back and it's, that's it's, it's wild that's like, like, god, that's why I don't fuck with so, yeah huh. so that's I'm saying, like, like I'm gonna find the picture yeah, but, yeah 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 but it wasn't like it wasn't like swinging them around it also didn't intention I mean it could have bitten all the way through it it didn't bite all the way through did it yeah, yeah. So I mean, you have to think like even even like Brian was saying, if you're standing in four feet of water, it could literally bite your legs off, chop your whole body off. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, ocean's scary. I'm I'm really scared of the ocean. Let's go free diving. And and like water in general. Yeah, like, do you not notice how over spring break, like I tried to go into the. <laughs> yeah, I noticed <laughs> because that place is freaky as hell. Like there is just so much. That's the coolest tattoo ever. That like we just don't know about, and like, just I mean, like uh, Steve Irwin died in the ocean, and he was like friends with all animals. Well, clearly not. Look, next time make, you can't make friends with fish. They don't speak our language. Can't make friends with fish. They're from those. the ocean. Yeah, no. Ocean, right. creepy place. All right, boys. It's about that time. I think it's about that time. I said we could probably get about like 30 to 45 minutes out of this. I think so, too. All right, well, listen, y'all remember just to smash that like button. Let us know how it went. (laughs) Uh, I'm just kidding. Smash that like button, like be pain, so we'll smash some beans. Oh, God. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, dear God. (laughs) 